Some of you will remember this phone. This is a white iPhone 4, 16 gig. I, um, a lot of you, because a lot of you came from my previous channel, will remember this phone. I got this, my first iPhone 4, in November of 2011, and I used that phone all the way up until May of this year, um, you know, as a phone. So, I've been doing my iPhone collection thing lately, as seen over there. Um, I've been trying to rebuild, like, I'm trying to build an iPhone collection up. Um, as you can see, there's my iPhone 5S right there. There's the 3GS, there's the 2G. Um, so yeah, I've been trying to buy, like, as many iPhones as I can, so I can just have the ultimate iPhone collection that will rival even the most, um, dubious fan Android Apple fanboys. Sorry. Um, so yeah, here it is. Uh, I got this on Craigslist for 140 bucks. Uh, this is a, like I said, a white 16 gigabyte AT&T model. Um, yeah, it's in really good shape. Um, it did have an invisible shield on it, which I took off, but it had that on the front and the back. So the front and the back glass are pretty like, pretty much like brand new. Uh, the only thing that took a downfall was the, the metal band around the the phone there because. Uh, they kept this in a case the whole time, and they never cleaned it, so, um, yeah, that dust and stuff, like, your, like, dirt and stuff got in there, and then just kind of scuffed up the whole metal band, but otherwise, it's in pretty darn good shape, um, this definitely does bring back a lot of, you know, memories and stuff, because I had this exact phone for almost two years, um, it runs iOS 7, .4, and, you know, um, while it's not super fast and like, you know, good, like, you know, super like nice, like the iPhone 5S or something, but it's definitely not too bad. Like, I don't know what I was like thinking. Um, I guess I just got annoyed at like the, some, the minimal like lag that happens every now and then because like games are kind of laggy. Uh, let's see. Let's open bad, bad piggies or bad niggies, as I like to call it. But anyway, um, yeah, this game. Well, th not just this game. Like a lot of games on this phone will uh, sort of, kind of like drop frames quite a bit. Um, and you know, it's just. I think I got annoyed at that, but I don't know. I've been using this phone as a main phone for you know. I, well, I got this thing last night, so. Um, I've been using it for today as a main phone, and it hasn't been too bad, but let's see. Yeah, you can see it's kind of stuttering there. Yeah, see, look, it's lagging quite a bit. Uh, so if we go in here, let's do one. Let's see. Yeah, you can see this is quite laggy. Yeah, you can see that's pretty bad. Um, so then, let's see, let's see if we can, uh, let me do a level I've already done so I don't waste time. Let's do this. But yeah, you can just see, like, how much lag there is. I mean, it's not too terrible, like, as you can see here. It drops a frame every now and then. Um, so yeah, I just, just wanted to demonstrate that. And you can see. See, the gameplay, the actual gameplay isn't too terrible, um, so, yeah. So anyway, it's not too bad. Uh, the overall performance on iOS 7 is, is better than I thought it was going to be. Um, and it is sometimes faster than iOS 6 in some regards, um, which is kind of interesting because, you know, iOS 7 is more resource intensive, I would think. But I don't know, maybe they did some efficiency thing. But as you can see, I have my SIM in, uh, and I'm using it as a main phone. And I will be for a couple of days just to see how it works. So, I mean, overall, it's not too bad. Um, this would get annoying if I had to use this all the like all the time. This is my only cell phone. It would get kind of annoying sometimes. But overall, it's really not too bad. Um, you know, the iPod works, uh, which is cool. Um, you know, I just kind of tweaked it so as you can see if you open an app 
it doesn't um, like do that animation thing. It just like fades out. I turned that off just to make it a little faster. I also enabled like um, increased contrast as you can see here so it's just black. Same with control center. I increased the contrast so it's like easier to or it's just it's just speedier overall. But overall, you know, it's really not that bad. Um, and it's just it's a decent it's a decent iPhone. It's still kind of usable today. Although I wouldn't like recommend buying this if you're looking for a cell phone. Like get a 4S at least if you can afford it. So yeah, but anyway, there is my iPhone 4. Um, my new one anyway. So yeah. Thanks thanks for watching this video, I guess. And see you later.